The first panicked reports from the canyon included the dreadful news that the Hebkin Dam had failed. If true, a massive wall of water would have blown out the slide downriver and wreaked havoc on the downstream communities. Fortunately, these reports were false. All of this destruction happened in seconds, and the scars still remain over 40 years later. Seemingly insignificant in the face of this force of nature were the lives of the 300 people camped in the canyon. The Hebkin Lake earthquake struck on a calm, clear, moonlit night at the peak of the tourist season in Yellowstone. That night, at least 18,000 people were in the park. Around the region, campgrounds and local motels were filled to capacity. Even the roadsides were lined with cars and trailers. The quake rocked the land so violently that travelers awoke to sheer terror. Many woke to hear the roar of the rock slide the crashing of the huge waves and the rumbling of car-sized boulders tumbling off the canyon walls. Along Hebkin Lake, shoreline cabins, lodges, and travel trailers were inundated with water. Above the Madison River, boulders broke free and came crashing through the darkness, flattening tents and automobiles. In Yellowstone Park, the quake caused rock slides Streams moved out of their beds, and hot springs changed temperatures. Some 200 geysers simultaneously began spewing hot water and mud. Clepsydra geyser went frantically wild and has erupted continuously since the quake. With so many people in the narrow Madison River Canyon, the quake was destined to take away life. Rock Creek Campground, filled to capacity with 50 campers, was partially buried. Survivors said the noise from the slide was deafening. The slab of mountain slid at 100 miles per hour, displacing the air in the narrow canyon. This created hurricane force winds that tossed cars like matchboxes and ripped clothes off people who had no idea what hit them. As Earthquake Lake quickly began to fill, frightened campers had to flee for their lives. But the highway they had driven in on was now cracked into pieces. While the ground shuddered with aftershocks, about 250 survivors were forced to scramble uphill away from the rising water. Those who were able to flee were the lucky ones. 28 people never made it out alive. 19 bodies were never found and probably lie under the slide. Five people drowned west of the slide area. Two people died at the Bozeman Hospital from injuries, and two were crushed by a boulder at Cliff Lake Campground. 